In today's video, I'll be doing a Wirecast 9 tutorial. So I'll be showing you step by step how to quickly set up Wirecast and go live. Okay, so right now I have Wirecast uh, open. This is a brand new document. So what we need to do now is to start adding all our sources. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button. Right, so this is where now we get an option to add whatever we need to add. So I'm going to start off with um, a screen capture. So I'm going to come over here. So I'm going to go with screen capture one, click on add. Right, so what's happening now is I have two monitors. So this is picking up from my monitor two. So this setup is ideal if you want to have, let's say, a video feed where you're speaking to camera and then you want to switch to your laptop. Maybe there's a presentation that you need to do or you want to do a how-to tutorial where you're showing people you know, how to work on this. In fact, I'll be showing you throughout this step-by-step -step how you best you can use this setup. Okay. Now let's, let's add another source. So I'm going to click this plus button here and this time this is going to be our camera. So I'm going to come over, over here to the top to video capture. Now this is where you get all your list of things that are connected to your computer. So right now I have Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder Video. So this is the card that I use to connect to my Sony A6300 because that's the camera that I use. In fact, what I'll do is all the kit that I use for my live stream, I will include it in the show notes below so you can go and check it out. Okay, so here... Uh, the second option here is the FaceTime HD camera. Now, this is the camera on my iMac. So you can choose either one of these. And there's also a fantastic option, which is a Logitech uh, webcam, which you can use as your main camera source. But right now, I haven't, in I haven't installed it. Okay, so let's go and click on Blackmagic Ultra Studio. Click on Add. Now you can see me in my preview window. So that's the camera that I'm speaking to now. And um, so that's going to be like my main source. Okay, so now that we have these two sources, let's add the audio. So what I normally do is if I click here on this gear icon, I have even more options. So let's take a look. So if I come over here to change audio, I can actually come in and add my audio. So we have Blackmagic audio, which we don't want to use uh, because that's coming from my camera. And then here we have the built-in microphone audio. Again, you don't want to use that because that's your built-in microphone on your iMac. The sound won't be that good. Okay, so the audio that I'm going to use is through this mic that I'm using right now. And it's connected right here using USB audio. So I'm going to select it. So now you can see we have these meters here showing me that my audio is now working. So if I come over here now to my video, we can see that my audio is not set up because... Over here, we don't see anything on the meters. So let's fix that. So I'm going to come over here on uh, this gear icon. Again, I'm going to go to change audio, select my audio. And as soon as I select my audio, we can see that now it's working. So basically, these two shots here are fantastic. This is how we can set up, you know, very easily a camera and also a document, whether it's a how-to tutorial or a... Or a um, PowerPoint. So this is how easily you'd set it up. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here to my screen capture. So this right here is my keynote slide. So as you can see, as I'm clicking through this, this is, you know, my keynote. So I'm going to close this. In fact, I'm going to minimize this. Right. Now, what I have on the screen here is my website. So this is what I mentioned earlier on that uh, you can do a how to tutorial here and show people, you know, how you are actually making changes on your website. Okay. So let's go ahead now and make some adjustments here. So you can, as you can see, this is filling up the whole, uh, the whole screen and, um, it's cropping out some important information. So I'm going to come back over here and uh, make sure this is scaled to fit. So now we can see that this now fits the whole, the whole page, which is exactly what we need. Okay. So this is where you can do your how to tutorial. You can show people where you're clicking and so on and so forth. Okay. We have all this set up. Our audio is good. Our sources are good. Let's talk about how to switch between these two views. So as you're working here on your, on your presentation, you want to transition to the next clip. 
So right now it's set to cut and it's also smooth. So if I click this drop down here, we have several ways we can choose to use to uh, switch over to your live view. Right, so now let me show you something that's also very, very important here, which makes my live streaming very, very easy. So over here, we see that we have two monitors. So this is my preview window, All right? So when you're streaming and uh, you're broadcasting to Facebook or YouTube, what you want to do is you want to have your preview here, and then this is your live screen. So to go live, what you want to do is to click this right arrow here. So if you do that, so this takes us now to the live window. So this is where, again, this red dot shows us that shows us that this is live. Okay, so if you want to switch back over here, so you'd click on this um, source. So again, this is in the preview. So if you want to go live, this is where you have to click on this little arrow and then it takes you to the live. But what I've noticed is this can be a bit tricky if you're, uh, I mean, when you're doing your live stream. So what I do is I come over here to the top and then I click on switch. And over here, we have Auto Live. So if I choose Auto Live, now, as soon as I click on this thumbnail, it takes me straight to the live, okay? Just like that. So you don't have to come over here and click this arrow. And I think this is very, very important because it makes your stream uh, very uh, easy to, uh, to output because it's quite difficult here to think about the buttons that you're, cl uh, you're clicking and also your message that you're trying to uh, present. Okay, so now with this set, obviously we don't need to have these two windows because we're not using the preview, we're only using the live now. So if I click here, this will show, you, show me my preview window. I mean, you can see it right now, it's green. And this is our live window. So now with Auto Live set, all we have to do now is to click on the thumbnail that we need and it takes us over to uh, that particular item. So I think this is fantastic. So as you can see, I'm just clicking, you know, these two sources and it is working perfectly. Okay. Now on the transitions here, what you could also do is to um, go to switch and transition speed. So right now it's normal. I, I prefer having it fastest so that it just, you know, cuts to the next thing just like that. So let's test it. So if I do that, you can see now that this is happening really fast. Right, so this is a basic setup. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to set up in Wirecast. Now, the final thing is let's go and set up, set up the, um, the output. So this is where we need to set up where we need to broadcast to, either Facebook or YouTube or any other place. Right, so let's do that. So over here on the top, I'm going to click on Output, Output Settings. Right, so here we have more options. If I click on More, we can see we have YouTube. And in fact, we have a whole list here. And uh, Facebook is one of those as well. So with YouTube selected, I'm going to click on OK. Click on OK. Right, and then over here, I'm just going to make sure YouTube is selected. And then finally, what you want to do is to click on Authenticate. And this is where you want to log into your YouTube account. Click Next and it, it gets added over here. And uh, let me show you now how to add Facebook. So over here, all the way to the bottom, there's this Add button. So again, you can click on this drop down, and we can choose Facebook Live. So here it is. I click on that, click OK. Great. So now I'm going to click on this drop down and choose Facebook Live. Click OK. So now we have Facebook Live. So the good thing, to, uh, one of the um, things that you could do here as well is to name these sources. So for example, this one here, it's always good to um, call it Facebook Live so that uh, next time you go live, you know exactly what it is because right now it's set to not configured. Okay, so let's go ahead now and um, do our settings. So over here on the encoding, this is where you get to choose how you want to broadcast. So there's 1080p, there's 720p. So, okay, so over here, I normally use 720p. I'm going to select that. And I don't really, you know, mess with uh, the audio track selection. And then next, what you want to do now is to connect to Facebook. You want to click on Authenticate, similar to what we did with YouTube. And then over here is where you want to add your email address and your password. 
and you can log into your Facebook account. So once you're logged in, you can choose either to broadcast to pages, profiles, groups, and you can also set up events, which is pretty cool. And then over here on the bottom, you can add your title and description. And if this is public, you can set it to public or private, which means this is being broadcast just to the page or just to the group. Okay, so once all that is set, and there's one more thing, over here you can actually uh, schedule your uh, live stream, so that you can do when you click this drop down option. So once you've done that, you can set it up to broadcast at a specific time. So once you're done with that, next time you go back in, you can always do a check mark on which channel you want to go live to. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK. In fact, let me cancel this because I don't need to go there. Right. So now that I've uh, set up my output, there's also a very good option here before I show you where to uh, how to stream. So over here, we also have options to either save this stream onto your computer. So on the top here, we can see we have record. So you can actually use this as a way to record your tutorial. So you can switch between these two that we've just set and this will be recorded straight to your computer. Now, the most important option here to stream is to stream to whatever destination that you've set. And uh, you notice that we set up either Facebook or YouTube. So once all that is set, all you got to do now is to click this button here to stream. And as soon as you click this, this now gets pushed to whichever uh, network you've set up. So pretty much this is how you can quickly set up your Wirecast to go live to either Facebook or YouTube. Now I know that this setup is really basic, but you can always add even more items here. But I will be doing quite a lot of tutorials on Wirecast. I really like using Wirecast. It's fantastic. And uh, also, if you'd like to uh, give it a try, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go ahead and try it out. This is by far the best and easiest way to go live in a professional manner. Now, I haven't even touched on more options that Wirecast is capable of. This is just a basic setup. So I would really recommend that you try it out if you want to start creating content for either your website, your brand, or even your business. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. So that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.